today, the majority of complex product innovations are driven by electronics and software. Because of this, it's necessary to manage not only fast evolving technology, but also comply with new regulations and safety standards. This short demonstration will show you how a model-based systems engineering approach using Dassault system integrated environment leads to safer, better products. The demo includes the advanced capabilities of Nomagic, a company acquired in 2018 by Dassault System. The demonstration illustrates a system thinking approach to consolidate stakeholder needs and improve multidiscipline collaboration. System thinking decreases the cost of integration and validation. You'll see an example of a braking system on an electric autonomous vehicle and will progress from initial requirements through simulation, testing, and verification. Using the secure and open 3D experience platform, which provides all stakeholders up-to-date and accurate information. A new requirement to deliver a safer vehicle with a five-star rating based on the European New Car Assessment Program standard is introduced. To deliver this safety requirement, an advanced driver assistance system with software integrated into the sensors and electronic control units must be developed. In the first part of this demonstration, three users evaluate the system design models at the conceptual level using a system thinking approach. Each user identifies various solution alternatives to make appropriate decisions. Then, using continuous virtual testing, we will integrate, validate, and experience at a component systems level. For system architecture, you can reuse and adapt the architecture from a previous vehicle. It's easy to modify an existing system architecture to address the new stakeholder requirements. This ensures quick time to market for new vehicles. To answer the vehicle requirements, the systems architect has defined the vehicle functional architecture with all the functions inside the vehicle deeply interconnected with each other, such as driving assistance functions. For this new vehicle program, we have identified an Autonomous Emergency Braking System, AEBS, that we will develop to reach our safety goals. We use model-based systems engineering methods by defining the environment of the system with all the different disciplines that interact. Also, the algorithm will be developed through the state machine to describe the system behavior. The models are identified with the No Magic Cameo solution, part of the CATIA Magic portfolio. As you can see, the system's architect retrieves the state machine into Cameo, and it's more than just drawing boxes and arrows. These models can be simulated to evaluate solution alternatives and make decisions earlier at the conceptual stage. Here the system architect varies the time to collision to see how the system will react. As a result, it's possible to validate innovation feasibility earlier. This decreases the risk of introducing new technologies and also improves system specification completeness before going on to the final detailed design phase, saving time and effort. The systems architect uses the role electrical and electronic architect for early validation of whether the existing architecture can accommodate the new AEBS system specification. It also allows him to make the necessary modifications to the EE architecture. This includes changes in the hardware topology, network topology, and system mapping of software to hardware components. If needed, we can create multiple configurations in the EE architecture. This hardware architecture is modular and can be reused for different vehicle models and variants, supporting configuration management. After choosing the correct configuration, you can launch bus load performances on the hardware architecture allowing early validation of the technical solution. Next, the user analyzes key aspects to validate the system at an early phase. Functional safety is important to make sure that the AEBS system will not encounter passenger safety problems and avoid any recalls and warranty issues. The safety expert ensures compliance with the new functional safety standards, like ISO 26262, here she uses the system's architecture previously defined and will enrich it with safety information, like the probability of component failure. 
creating a top-down fault tree analysis and launching the simulation provides the probability of the target failure. At an early stage, safety experts and system architects can iterate more quickly to converge on the most efficient solution. For example, when learning the car cannot brake on time, the team can decide on mitigating actions, such as adding more sensors to ensure system redundancy. Waiting until later in the design process to discover these issues has an enormous negative impact on time, cost, and quality. After the hardware and software detail design has been completed, we can move to the next step, which is to review the deliverables from various disciplines and suppliers through a collaborative environment. Systems Traceability The open platform allows us to get a Simulink model and drill down to review it, allowing us to see exactly what has been created. In addition, using the AutoSAR software code, the team is able to create some annotations to provide feedback. Notice that a new software version has been delivered. Our test and validation engineer will experience it in order to validate this system through an interactive and real-time environment. First solo, then integrated with the other systems to validate the AEBS at a vehicle level. As you can see, the simulation can be experienced by several users, enabling the team to detect and fix errors collaboratively. The initial requirements are now completed with all the simulations and test results to finalize the analysis. To summarize, the Dassault System portfolio of cyber system solutions gives the power to design safe products using an MBSE approach. This allows continuous modeling with a simulation approach. The result is the ability to build optimum products quickly and efficiently. You can maintain digital continuity not only within different disciplinary departments in the organization, but also with the extended enterprise. The benefit of this collaboration is to reach the best solution quickly and get to market on time. Thank you for watching.